Uh, here is a 38-year-old male patient who presented with a history of uh, poor flow for the past two years duration. Uh, he underwent uh, VIU for his complaints of similar complaints uh, eight years back and subsequently he was on monthly urethral dilatation for one year. Currently, poor flow for the past two years. He is married, three children, no diabetes or hypertension, no duty history. Uh, uh, so far, sir, uh, uh, I have a 38 year young male with uh, uh, complaint of poor flow since two years. I would like to know, uh, uh, because uh, there is a past history of VIU eight years back, uh, I would like to know the history uh, 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 eight years back, what are the uh, voiding and if any storage symptoms, any UTI episodes, and uh, the VIU was done, so I would like to know the intra of findings for uh, VIU and if any complication post VIU, and what uh, was the course after VIU. Uh, that uh, that much detail I would like to know from this slide. We don't have the operative details, and uh, he had no history of uh, trauma except for uh, cool flow. No other uh, voiding complaints he had, and uh, no prior UTI history. And post VIU, his uh, flow is good and he was on monthly with dilatation. Except for the last two years, prior to that, his flow is good. Okay, any UTI episodes uh, between no. this? Uh, uh, no UTI episode. No. Okay. Uh, sir, with this history, I would like to uh, uh, examine the patient uh, for uh, as of my differential diagnosis because there is history of uh, VIU. Uh, a differential diagnosis uh, would be the uh, stricture urethral disease. Uh, the uh, other uh, probable diagnosis uh, uh, would be the meatal stenosis. Uh, uh, that may be the uh, post VIU. So uh, only these two diagnoses I can keep in mind, sir. Is uh, he is a young uh, fellow with history of VIU? Yeah, very uh, true. Only the what show why did he reverse stricture at the first go? Uh, yes, sir. So can we think of a primary bladder neck obstruction, sir? Young male with history of poor flow. Yeah, bladder outdoor, you, have, you can consider all causes of bladder outdoor obstruction. Okay, sir. Fine. So that's not a problem. Uh, that is documented. But you know why I'm saying it? He is married, he has got he has father three children. Therefore, most of the function of the blood and neck uh, are likely to be intact. I have de derived like this because unless everything is competent and his uh, lower unit tract function is intact, he won't effectively ejaculate. Yes. Would you agree with me? Yes. Yes, yes sir. And also he has got a reasonable urethral movement. Go ahead, go ahead. Uh, sir, on examination, uh, the prepusal uh, was uh, tight but retractable and uh, glance uh, showed lichen sclerosis changes. Meatus was narrow and uh, the rest of the ex local examination's uh, findings were normal. So here the positive finding I have is uh, lichen sclerosis uh, with uh, uh, invo involving the meatus and the prepusal skin also. So most probably the etiology for this patient uh, would be the uh, lichen sclerosis uh, leading to involvement of the urethra. Uh, uh, so further, uh, sir, after examination, I would like to uh, I would like to complete the examination here. I would uh, uh, examine the uh, I will do the rec rectal examination as well. We uh, have, Dr. Uh, Dr. Nayan, yes, sir. Uh, it is good practice to palpate the anterior urethra along the shaft of the penis because that yes, will give you some idea about the fibrotic status. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, so, sir. As, you, as you palpate, in a stricture case particularly, you should palpate the urethra along the venous sac. You should yes, also sir. see is there any sign of uh, sinus or any uh, any past abscess. Yeah, because the uh, history of post-VIU, I would like to pal uh, examine the pre uh, perineal uh, area as well. Yes. Along and, with, uh, and you should examine the cords and epidemis also because stricture patients are prone to develop epidemiobitis. Yes. Okay. So yes. it's a good practice to complete these examinations. Yes. And of course you then uh, finish with doing a DIY. Yes. Okay. Go ahead. 
So after uh, uh, this examination, I would like to do the urine routine, uh, urine analysis uh, to rule out the urine infection. Uh, the some uh, renal, uh, basic uh, blood test, including renal function test and the complete blood count, to look for any renal failure or uh, uh, any uh, infection. And uh, uh, the further evaluation will be uh, the ultrasound, abdomen, pre and post, and uh, uh, urophrometry to look for the severity of the uh, 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 obstruction. Is there any role of uh, ultrasound in evaluation of the structure besides what all we mentioned? Uh, 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 basically, sir, we have to look for the uh, because it's a long standing uh, patient may develop sometimes the bladder stone. Uh, we have to see the bladder wall thickness. We have to see the post food residue. So these are the important findings uh, in the ultrasound we have to look for. Yeah, it might have gone out of focus, but ultrasound is a good modality to assess the extent of spongiofibrosis in the bulk. Uh, okay. Yes, sir. So, so remember that, you know, for that reason, you have to inject some jelly inside the urethra because normally the anterior urethra is a collapse tube. It doesn't contain any urine. So you inject some jelly, apply a penile clamp, and then do an ultrasound to see the distensibility of the urethra, the spongiofibrosis. It will give a good idea. Okay? Yes, sir. Okay. Next. Uh, uh, urine anal, uh, urine report uh, showed numerous RBC and 8 to 10 uh, WBC. There is no protein data and the culture reported as uh, no growth. Okay, ultrasound. Uh, ultrasound reported as a normal apotrex. Uh, bladder uh, reported normal, but not mention of uh, bladder wall thickness or any bladder calculus. Postural residue was 45 cc out of 200 with the prostate volume of uh, 20 gram. Uh, I would like to do here, sir, Euroflow metry also uh, to just uh, um, add, I would uh, just to, for adding my diagnosis. Uh, I have some clue of, because there is a postural residue. Uh, before I will proceed for RGU and MCU, I would like to uh, do the Euroflow. Also, I can compare post-operatively the same flow, whether there is an improvement or not. And it is a, it is a good parameter to show the patient also. Yes, you are maintaining all right, or you are improving, or you are deteriorating. So, urophilometry is a good uh, uh, modality to we can be easily done, and the patient can be uh, counselled. Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, do do take any precaution before an RGU. Sir, uh, before RGU, uh, as per protocol, first we'll uh, rule out the infection by doing the urine culture. Uh, so if uh, uh, the culture show, uh, report if uh, reported no growth, then uh, we'll, uh, as per our protocol, we'll give the IV antibiotic uh, of uh, what we uh, practice is cefotexim 2 gram. So... Uh, 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 and if it's uh, culture positive? If culture positive, then obviously, according to the sensitivity, we will give the single dose if patient is asymptomatic. If patient is symptomatic, uh, then uh, we'll give, we'll start on the oral antibiotic. We'll wait for uh, repeat culture and then we'll proceed for RGMC. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. So this is the RGMC <coughs> uh, showing the, the uh, 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 irregular and very very narrowed urethra till the proximal bulbar with irregular outlines and it's not uh, uh, distensible uh, uh, most likely because of the stricture and uh, I, we can see the uh, the changes because of the uh, BXO there is an irregular outline throughout the uh, penile and the distal bulbar urethra the contrast is uh, entering I can see the various shadow also and contrast is entering into the bladder uh, I would like yeah, to so, so the I just highlight the main points. The antiurethra okay. is seen, but it is not distensible. Yes. All bulbar urethra is normally distensible, and you see it's not distended. The contrast has entered the bladder. Okay? Yes, sir. The antiurethra, which is normally distended, is not distended. 
So that's a sign of spongy fibrosis. It has got yes, multiple sir. areas of narrowing and irregularity. Okay? Yes, sir. So, so the, almost the whole of the anterior ulcer is involved by multiple areas of strictures. Yes, sir. Okay, fine. Can I have MCU, uh, This is a MCU film. Uh, uh, this is Sistora. This Sistogram. is Sistora, uh, yes. MCU film, Sistogram, uh, showing uh, good, uh, uh, a smooth outline bladder. There is no evidence of viewer and bladder neck looks competent. Uh, uh, it seems a good capacity bladder. Uh, 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 so after uh, this finding, I want avoiding films uh, for MCU. Okay, so this is voiding uh, film MCU, sir, uh, showing uh, uh, opening, uh, adequate opening of the bladder and a good uh, density of the contrast in the posterior urethra with uh, significantly dilated posterior urethra. There is a poor density of the stream uh, of the contrast uh, beyond the uh, distal bulbar uh, urethra. So, uh, based on this Arjun MCU finding, uh, my diagnosis uh, would be the uh, uh, complete penile and the distal bulbar uh, structure uh, uh, without any uh, complications. Possible etiology? Sorry, sir? Possible etiology? Etiology, sir, because I have positive finding of uh, uh, DHO. So, uh, lichen sclerosis, so that may be the uh, reason. Yeah. So, what are the options you would like to discuss with the patient for this management? Uh, sir, first I will counsel uh, uh, regarding uh, the nature of the disease. Already he had undergone the VIU and uh, he was on calibration. Now again he presented with this uh, severity of uh, and long, uh, long uh, length stricture. So I will explain the nature of the disease. I will explain the needs, uh, the interop complications. I will explain the regarding the treatment options. So because it's a long uh, uh, length structure, uh, uh, I would first I will give the options of uh, uh, BMG urethroplasty, and uh, I will explain the success rate and the complications and uh, needs a strict follow up post operatively. And uh, also, I will explain regarding the uh, the post-op erectile dysfunction as well. So, after counseling a patient is agree for uh, BMG urethroplasty, then I will proceed uh, for uh, BMG urethroplasty after uh, complete evaluation. Yeah. And uh, very good. Uh, at the same time, you must emphasize that he will need a lifelong follow-up. Yes, sir. Whatever you do for this picture, they are bound to come back with one problem or the other. So yeah. therefore, it is not a disease that it will be cured with one treatment. So you must emphasize this point, okay? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And uh, you would emphasize the problem associated with BMG expertise also? Yes, sir. I will, I will, I will explain the uh, uh, graph site uh, morbidity, uh, morbidity and uh, uh, the uh, perineal wound complications and uh, recurrence. Sure. Dr. Nayan, it is important, I also uh, forgot it. When you see such a structure, you should examine the oral cavity and take his yes. smoking and yeah. to, to use, okay? Yes, so, uh, usually after counseling the patient, uh, before BMG erythroplasty, we'll examine the mouth opening, the loose teeth and the, the quality of the buccal mucosa and uh, then we'll proceed. Sometimes if uh, the issue with the mouth opening, then uh, we may have to specifically inform the anesthetist. Usually uh, uh, we'll go for nasal intubation. So that is not a problem. So these are the uh, points we have to keep in mind before uh, posting for the surgery. Okay. So, so what was done for this gentleman? Next. I would ask right. one thing, uh, Dr. Nayan. So yes. this long structure extends yes. from the almost uh, proximal bulbar ulcer to the external meters. Yes, so, sir. So it will need a long graft. Yes, sir. I may need the bilateral. I have to take bilateral graft, sir. Any other? Bilateral. Any other option? Other option would be, sir. We can go for stage procedure. Uh, 
uh, we can use the flaps local flaps uh, panel skin flap uh, see in bxo in bxo the local skin flaps are not good options because they also may be affected by the same disease yes sir in days so uh, buccal mucosa and lingual mucosa are the good options yes sir lingual mucosa is is good options yes sir good options okay go ahead circumcision and pull cut knees technique or dorsal only being the first thing with the incision okay from both cheeks okay, very good you have harvested you have harvested you can harvest the uh, buccal mucosal graft yes sir okay good good Excellent, excellent man. Sir, he had a fully removed three weeks post surgery, and his flow was good, and his post surgery was eight out of one sixty eight. Mm-hmm. Excellent. Any urophilometry? Yes, sir. See, uh, immediately we couldn't get a urophilometry, sir. We got a urophilometry after three months because they had come with poor flow. Can you show the mm-hmm. picture? Uh, this is urophilometry after three months post BMG retroplasty. Okay. So, did he had any anastomotic structure or any somewhere in the middle? Sir, uh, after seeing this zero flow, uh, I will. Uh, I would like to do the, again. I have to evaluate the lower trick because there will be a, some anastomotic side structure or narrowing. So, I have to do the again RJU and MSU to check the level, uh, the site of the uh, structure and the length of the structure. Based on that, I have to make a decision whether. Uh, we can do the simple viu again uh, if there is a, a short segment structure uh, or i have to again go for some radical surgery okay. good so you have done a repeat rgu or what next oh i think there was a problem at the anastomosis Yes, sir. So in the proximal uh, 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 urethra, there is uh, looks like anastomotic uh, structure. The rest of the uh, distal to the uh, narrowing uh, looks uh, dilated uh, urethra with a good uh, contrast. Yeah, this is this is out poaching. You know, yes. this is a very common problem of uh, BMJ arthroplasty. You know, we w- won't do actually. Yes, sir. Okay. So uh, you manage this by doing another endoscopy or what? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, uh, next. To enter the seat, structure the proximal bulb. We are you done? It in trend for the past. Okay, good. Hello. Next. Uh, this, this is, is uh, supposed to be a uh, yes, post second VIU. Is zero closer on follow. Next slide. Very good. Very good. He was advised uh, daily self calibration sir, in view of his uh, pathology, uh, disease pathology. We have advised him uh, topical steroid team. Circumcision specimens uh, revealed the uh, pathology of BXO changes. So we have advised him uh, self calibration with steroid for two months. Next slide. No. This is three months post view. He's closer. He's currently under follow up now, third month sir. He's doing very, very well. Okay. The one question, Dr. Nayan. Uh, in between, you said uh, we may do a spoon stain in the last team. You know, yes, you, you are using a buccal mucosal graft in the last team. These two stains are not usually preferred. Yes, sir. Why? See, many times you will find that at some places there is hardly any lumen in the urethra so for putting a graft you are doing augmented osmosis so putting a graft you need some calibration of the urethra you need some lumen to be present okay yes, and normally unless you are able to pass something about 8 french or preferably 10 french catheter you do not accept these for putting single stage uh, bmj graft is first thing because if you have got an area which 
the urethra is practically obliterated and you want to put a graft there and wait that buccal mucosal graft get contracted exposed to surface means they get contracted therefore okay. really therefore it is really not preferred you know most people like a single stage buccal mucosal uh, augmentation is best Because okay, sir. inside the mouth is always moist. Once it is exposed to surface, it becomes dry, you know. So it gets fibrosis and contracted. Uh, suppose this was an inflammatory stricture and not a BXO. What are the options you had? Uh, if uh, no BXO, uh, the first uh, uh, option uh, would be the uh, buccal mucosa only. The second would be the lingual graft I can use. The other, uh, theoretically, I can use the bladder mucosa or interstitial mucosa. The, uh, before uh, that, Dr. Nair, before that, you should think of the local tissues. You know, in case of BXO, local tissues are not preferred. Yes. But not a BXO, you can use the local tissues. If the prepuce is available, you can use the... free you know the precursor graft yes sir if if you are an expert you can consider circumpenile graft not yes, a graft you can mobilize on the dartos pedicle and use it as a pedicle graft so remember these options okay yes sir dnj yes, has buccal mucosal graft university has become very popular and everybody is very familiar and it is a reproduction of the technique so this is good no doubt about it but many times you will be compromised to see that he is a tuberculosis the buccal mucosa is not suitable or sufficient length is not available so you can consider these options also okay yes sir what are the problems of buccal mucosa it's first thing uh sir donor site uh, morbidity sir and there are, uh, will be the contraction and tingling sensation uh uh post uh, uh, harvesting uh, uh there would be the uh, uh the loss of loss of sensation maybe in fibrosis contractures yeah sometimes in due to the salivary ducts or disorder ducts good okay Uh, so what i'll do i'll try to send you one or two cases of uh, if you have i'll request if you have a post traumatic stricture you can collect a case or maybe i'll try to pass on a case uh, i'll send you the pictures and you can present it okay okay sir uh, uh, and then what we didn't discuss uh, we can discuss in the next meeting next week uh, sir uh, we have on the pug obstruction pending yeah yeah we will discuss pug obstruction We have, yes, sir. We have one RCC also. We have a case, sir. Okay, fine, fine. We, I, I may pass on the post-traumatic stricture. So this, yes, sir. Discuss next week, okay? Sure, sir. Definitely, sir. Just give me a call maybe by Tuesday. I'll let you know uh, when. Definitely. Two to five is a good time, no doubt. Okay. Definitely. Yes, sir.